Hey everybody, uh, my name is Aaron. Um, just want to do a real quick lesson on Hootie and the Blowfish, uh, Let Her Cry. It's a real easy song to learn. Um, the way it's tabbed, it doesn't sound very good if you go to any of the tab sites. It's, you know, strictly G, D, C, G, a couple E minors thrown in. Thrown in but um, this one is really easy, but uh, the way you're going to start out, you're going to start out with a four finger G. These two fingers are going to sit here the entire time. They're not going to move at all. But uh, you're going to put your pinky finger on the E string, third fret, your uh, ring finger on the second string, third fret, and then you're going to put your first finger on the A string, second fret, and your middle finger on the low E, third fret. So it's going to look like that, and that's just basically a four finger G. So it's going to sound like this. So that's the way that on the first uh, line of the verse is how it's going to sound. And then the next one is going to be a D, but this D is going to be a little bit different. These two fingers are still going to stay here, and you're going to put your first finger on the third string, second fret. So it'll look like that. So that first line, uh, she sits alone by a lamppost. So she sits alone by a lamppost. And then, uh, the next one is going to be a C, but it's not going to be a regular C, it's going to be another four finger C. So you're going to put your uh, your first finger on the second fret, fourth string, and you're going to put your middle finger on the uh, fifth string, third fret. Again, these two fingers on the bottom aren't going to move, so it'll sound like this. Then you're going to move back to your G. So all in all, that first verse is going to sound don't butcher me on the strumming pattern I don't know what it is I haven't heard the song in a while so um, but each verse is going to be just like that So, um, and then your chorus is just going to be a C. And let me look at the line, but it's a, so it's a letter cry. If the tears fall down like rain, let her sing. And when you get to the eases all or pain part, you're just going to do an E minor. So you're just going to put your first finger. Uh, fifth string, second fret, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, and then back down to a D. So if it eases all her pain, so let her sing. If it eases all her pain, then back to a C, and then back to a G. And then you're going to go back to a C. And back to a G. And if the sun, and that's when if the sun comes up tomorrow, uh, letter B C, and then letter B D. Sorry, I'm moving back and forth. I'm trying to look at the the uh, the verse here. So this is gonna be the verse. And then the chorus, C, G, excuse me for screwing up this story, I'm probably butchering this, but um, it's, like I said, it's, it's real simple, so you can play it however you want. You can just do one strum, switch, one strum, switch, so just do however you want to do it. Um, there's actually a lot, a lot of songs that uh, are played this way, um, some with a capo, some, some not, so... Um, like with this four with these four finger chords, you could even like Matchbox Twenty does a lot of these. Um, Colby Calais has a one, but there's a capo on the sixth fret, and uh, Realize is done all the same way along with uh, uh, Three A.M. by Matchbox Twenty. So 
there's a ton of songs that are done this way and they're really really easy to learn so uh, you can probably get out there on uh, YouTube and look for them so um, if you have any questions comments concerns uh, just uh, email me I'll try to correct it um, and let me know thanks